The best explanation ever for this cognitive perceptual disturbance is I got it from a person who I'm gonna name Stacy. So again, I'm grateful that she took the time to explain to me. We had a coaching call one night and uh, I poured so much wisdom. <laughs> I had so many good ideas and what to do and um, Seth would have been so proud of me the next day. Then the next day she comes, she hadn't done anything from what we talked about. She didn't remember talking to me on the phone. So what's going on? And uh, then she explained this to me and I'm forever grateful. So she said, see, for you, reality is like this. And she draws a straight line. For me, reality is like this. And she draws these interrupted uh, lines. So if you catch me in between, I cannot remember. And then all of a sudden, the light bulb went, out, went off. You know, So this is really and truly uh, what happens when you're dysregulated. You can't you don't have good touch with the uh, previous memories. This is the mood-dependent memory. People cannot possibly access the memories of the other persons um, about the discussions. And here's the, my favorite song again. You have these memories, but they're scattered. They're not linked together. And this is true. It's actually in people's heads. This is a famous experiment with faces and the reactions they have on uh, normal controls and borderline people. Do you see the difference? I mean, really, this is... This is real, it's not that people try to manipulate us treaters, this is for real. So uh, I chose these pictures because again, they're worth a thousand words and we can have more understanding for what's going on. These are structures that are involved and I'm gonna ask you to remember just three. This is amygdala, this is our um, emotional center, this is what tells us this is important. I remember this and this is gonna trigger a lot of things. This is the prefrontal cortex. This is what is gonna tell me how much I'm gonna act upon these emotions. This is gonna direct my behavior. I'm gonna be contained or I'm gonna fall apart. And this is the hippocampus. This is where I store my cognitive map. This is how I make sense of what happened before and I can uh, choose to behave accordingly. So this is the really very basis. I'm gonna be very uh, simple about that. And in uh, Dr. Van der Kock's book, Traumatic Stress, we have this wonderful slide this is the best slide, really. I made such an extensive literature for search for this conference, and this is the first slide where actually they uh, show how uh, information flows from one center to another. So let me 